Hey kiddos, how are you today? I'm so happy to see you. I am going to read you a book today. This one, and I thought you might like it because it's called The Bad Seed. And it looks a lot like the seeds that you guys just planted yesterday, right? This is a good one. It's called The Bad Seed, written by Jory John. That's the author who writes the story and illustrated by Pete Oswald and the illustrator makes the pictures, right? The author writes the words, the illustrator makes the pictures. The Bad Seed. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Ooh, he looks bad. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. And when they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. Look at him. Ooh, he's got angry eyes. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff and I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. Look at them all up there, having a great time in their sunflower. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. And look at what happened. All the seeds fell out onto the ground. They're all going, ah! It's kind of a blur. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at them running away. <laughs> I remember a bag, and this says fresh sunflower seeds, delicious. So he got raked up and put in a sunflower seed bag for someone to eat. Everything went dark. And then, then, He's eating them at a baseball game. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! And then, Pitoo! but I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. Look at when I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I had become a bad seed. Look at his eyes. Ooh, he's mad. I love that he's in the gum with all this yucky hair and stuff and it's so gross. <laughs> A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care. 
and it suited me. Until recently, look at, look at his face. He looked in the mirror and look at, he's got a little smile. I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen and I still show up late and I still talk during movies and I do all kinds of other bad stuff, but I also say thank you and I say please and I smile and I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad, sometimes I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. And maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Look at smile. And he's got happy eyes. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. This one says, this one says, actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. The end. Did you like that one? Isn't that a great story? I have another one too that I'm gonna to read to you and it's called um, The Good Egg. So I'm gonna read that one a different time. But I hope you like The Bad Seed and I will see you guys tomorrow to make our flower project. Okay, see you tomorrow guys, love you, bye bye.